Hey guys, uh, I'm going to do a little video on my Alien and how to change the grip. I've had some questions from people about how to change this grip module. So, uh, yeah, we'll give it a go with the uh, camera on the hat. So the first thing I'm going to do is just rack the slide and uh, field strip it here. Thing is also super dirty inside. So I actually have a cloth here. So the most important thing here is you want to depress this, the trigger safety, and there's a couple ways you can do it. What I do is just I take a little piece of masking tape. It's kind of cheesy, but it works fine. And I wrap it around. Okay. I'm going to slightly depress that trigger safety and I'm just going to wrap this up. As long as the trigger safety cannot come free, you'll be okay. It just has to have a little bit of tension on it. So I'm going to wrap up the trigger safety. Okay. Just like that. All right, now we're going to drive this pin out. Okay, so I got this nylon block. I got a roll pin punch. We're just going to punch it through. Okay. So the pin's in there, right here. All right, next is this. Um, this Allen key right here, it's 2.5 millimeters. Okay, and you use a really good quality Allen key on there. All right. Now you want to do two things here, and this is just the way I've done it. I've had this apart multiple times. Um, I put the gun down on this block like so okay and there's two things you want to do you want to push on the trigger and you want to also push up on the slide lock okay so I'm gonna hold my thumb depressing the trigger and I'm gonna pull up on the slide lock okay and then I'm going to tap the grip okay. and it comes off like that and you'll see the reason you want to, I don't know if you can see that, but the reason you want to pull the trigger is you want to make sure that it's pushed up into the body. And same thing with the, the slide lock. It needs to be pushed up into the frame of the gun just like that. Hopefully you guys can see that. So once again, I held, I held my thumb on the trigger and I pulled down Okay, and then I I hit the front. Hit the front right where the knurling is. And I'm using a very, uh, very safe hammer. It's plastic and it's got some dead blow material in it. Okay, and the first time you do this, you might even want to wrap a rag around your thumb. Okay, because this back edge here is very sharp. And it could come down and cut you. So you got to be careful. But it does take a good good amount of pressure the first time you do it and you make sure that these two things are pulled back just the way I showed you okay and that's how I get this the the, uh, the grip module off okay and uh, it's useful for uh, accessing the trigger pin and let me show you why we tape that trigger safety up okay guys if this wasn't taped up I'm gonna be careful when I undo this but Without the tape on there, this is now free to extend all the way out, okay? And there's a spring underneath there that will fly out and go missing. So it's really important to keep that wrapped up. And there's multiple ways of doing that. You can get a piece of vacuum tube or silicone hose or 
some fancy tool but basically anything to keep that from coming apart will work work just fine okay so I hope that helps somebody out and uh, I'm gonna give this thing a clean cheers